So we're here in Benoa, Bali, Indonesia. It's a uh, obviously humid like the past week has been on our trips. Beautiful place. It did rain earlier today, so I'm hoping now they get it out of its system. It is done raining for the rest of the day because we have um, an excursion with three different locations to go to. We're going to the monkey forest. We're going to uh, I think two other temples. Um, one's right there on the water, so it's supposed to be really beautiful. So I'm hoping the weather stays perfect for the rest of the day. At least until this, when we're done with all the tours and everybody's back on the ship. But otherwise, it's it's beautiful here. Um, there's a couple little islands behind me. Now, there's not much to do right here at the port. You kind of have to take a taxi inward. But um, there's supposed to be some beautiful beaches and whatnot. Right now, we just finished eating. We have, I guess, like six minutes. We're gonna head downstairs and get ready to head to the buses to do our excursion and enjoy the beautiful day, hopefully, in Bali. Here's a little look of the area. So we made it to Tana Lot with the group. It's the first stop of three on this journey today. The weather's holding up. And pretty much I've seen like temple or statues pretty much everywhere on the street in different homes and whatnot on the way here. Very obviously Balinese feel. Got my little friend back here welcoming us. I forgot his name, but I know he's from Ice Age. Muggy, but not too bad right now. But again, it's early. It's like 9.40 in the morning. So we're going to the Tana Lot Temple. It's over the water, so we're gonna get to the um, edge of this part of the land and he's gonna talk about the temple and then we should have time, he said, to cross the water and go over to the temple. So, enjoy some of the views. at the Tana Lot Temple which is right up there. No one's going up there so I think they said it was just for worship so they have people blocking it and some uh, fences that are closed. So we can't go up to the temple unless it's up for worship. And of course the girls have to wear those long sarongs. Men have to wear uh, some kind of um, wrap around the hat. You can see the ocean behind me, everybody's playing in the water, it smells great. The temple looks beautiful up there. You can't, there's like a little cave in there, you can't even get into the cave yet. Apparently you can get holy spring water right there where that cave is draining the water. So that's kind of cool. So 
So we had to be blessed by the holy water from the temple right behind me. They throw some stuff on me, put some stuff on my forehead, give me the flower, and then I'm A-OK -okay to go up the staircase. But first you have to be blessed by the temple people. Thank you. So that's kind of cool. And it's not much, it's just there's a little gate there, so you still can't get to the very top. So you just get a better view, I guess, of the area. Absolutely beautiful here. So I just got my shoes dried by this morning, blow drying everything since the last day when we were soaking wet from our adventure in Borbador. And now I'm kind of standing right here in the water. As you can see, shallow. But very slippery, got the little moss on there. The, the, the rocks are very slippery. But this is an awesome looking temple. Oh, and you can actually see it, okay. So now we can see it a little bit better from right here. Let's take a look. You can see it right there. It's getting hotter. It's supposed to be 89, 90 plus humidity. Just taking some more sights here at the temple by the ocean. Can't say enough how pretty and clean it is here. You smell the beautiful ocean water. And I got six minutes to see the rest of this and head back to the bus before they leave without me. So we're gonna make this kind of quick. Look at this. So this is the last view of the temple right behind me, right about there. Tons of people here, we gotta head back. But we only had 30 minutes here, so it wasn't very long. It was kind of a run around. You can see I'm probably like pure sweat. Thankfully, I always bring water on these trips because, yeah, it is definitely muggy, definitely hot. You can easily get dehydrated out here. But anybody selling little trinkets and stuff, fans and postcards and stuff like that. But we still have one more temple. And we have the monkey force left, so. Oh, look at this. And then I see a lot of these. There's like little food and snacks and stuff, and those are like offerings. Here, one of the little statues. Had a fun time here. But off to the next stop. And sweat some more. So as we board the bus to go to the next location. Pure sweat, like I said. So apparently it doesn't matter if it rains or not. I still get soaking wet. It's just different form. So, let's enter the bus and seven, and then six should be right here. So I found it. So we're gonna get on and go to the next location. I'll catch you in a little bit. So we're at the monkey forest. Look at the monkeys are everywhere. And they... So they give us a little peanut. And they're supposed to come over here and feed, uh, feed right off our hand. You can sit down. You can sit down. Now tell me that wasn't cute. He ate the little peanut and there he went. He said goodbye.
as he eats. <laughs> and he's so soft, his whole fur and everything is so soft. He's just chilling on top of me. I had to leave my camera on the, sh uh, on the bus. I'm good. No matter how much you try to make sense, there's someone out there that's fine for the taking. Now I just gotta stand up, be clear, and start chasing. But I won't, cause I don't wanna spend eternity with someone that's Only 30 minutes here, but it was a lot of fun. So if you get a chance to come down here, Bali, come down to this monkey forest, feed the monkeys, uh, experience the culture, and don't bring a lot of shiny stuff. Finished with the monkey forest, that was awesome. Had a blast there. That was number two on the stops. We're at number three on the stops at the Royal Home. And we'll get more information about this when I get inside, but some cool statues and whatnot. We have about this place, have all the places we have 45 minutes, everywhere else we've had like 30 minutes. And so, I mean, it's because this is a bigger um, grounds, we're supposed to have refreshments and cookies locally. It seems very quiet, so I'm gonna try to keep quiet through here. It looks like we get some coconuts. So we can get that and some warm washcloths to wipe our hands after we touch the monkeys. So they gave us a coconut. Let's draw on it for our welcome drink. We're playing some music in the background. Pretty nice little area here. And they're using palm um, leaves to, I guess, make some crafts. That's kind of cool. Let's see what this tastes like. I've never been into drinking coconut right off of coconut, but it's okay. It's not my thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna finish this coconut thing, but I'll just stick with water. It's not, yeah, not my thing. Now you saw them making with their fingers um, into that grease thing, like some kind of cookie or something like that. I don't know what this was, but let me see it right there. It almost tastes, now you see it. Kind of tastes like, mm, I mean like cereal maybe? It's not bad. I just have no clue what it is. Mm. And they're offering us some um, Balinese coffee. Christy, who loves her coffee, so she's trying to hit it everywhere we go. She's already ran down there to go get coffee. I don't care for coffee. I might try it, just like I like to try it, but. So apparently, there's some more little um, desserts. We got tapioca, we got banana, we got coconut. So I'm gonna sit down and try that. Let me play some music at the same time. I guess whenever I get me a, a permanent home and I'm not traveling anymore, I want me my own little moat around my house. Brown, probably wouldn't drink it, but it looks very pretty.
and this is my first Bally Infinity Pool. Honestly, I'm not actually able to go in it, but it's kind of cool. It drains into that little area right there. You got the fields here. There's some people down there working right now, but they have a spa here. They have a lot of little facilities, a little bar. So it's a nice little location. Very quiet and peaceful here. You have a little bit of a breeze, so that's helping a lot, especially with this muggy weather. Anyway, I'm gonna go in, finish up my desserts, and head to the bus. So, correction, we were not at the Royal Temple. Uh, at the last place, that was just uh, like a hotel type place. With So now we're, um, we actually are at the Royal Temple now. So we're entering it. A little confusion back there, I guess, at the last place. But look at the entrance, really cool looking. So before we could enter the temple, they gave us these little cloths to wrap around us, those sarongs, because we can't have the shorts entering the, the temple. So that was kind of cool. We can still go in and they provide it, so that's kind of nice. The grounds here at the Royal Palace, or Royal Temple, I'm sorry. Look how clean it is. The grass looks almost shiny. I guess now officially the tour has ended at the Royal Temple. So what a great day here in Bali. I know it's a big place. Probably tons of stuff to see here. So yeah, we had to do a tour um, at our next location in Komodo Island because they won't let you off the boat. It's supposed to be a national preserve. So you have to take with the rangers. They take you, we're doing I think it's a two hour with the longest we could get. Apparently, I didn't know that they could swim, they climb trees, they could, somebody said they could run as fast as a racehorse. For only so many yards. But still, I mean, you don't want them biting you. Thank you again for joining me on this wonderful day here in Bali, Indonesia. It has been great, we got to see a lot. Got to take lots and lots of pictures, got to eat some local desserts. Let's call it a uh, fake waterfall. But just the sound of it, it's just nice and relaxing. And over on this side, you can see the World Temple right behind me. If you get a chance to be here, those three places we just went to, the Royal Temple, the Monkey Forest, and Tana Lot uh, Temple by the ocean, those are some three things, um, just must-haves. Anyway, I'm gonna get on the bus. I will catch you later. Have a great day.